we have anything fun? I don't know. We're not very fun people. <laughs> You're not fun people. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> conference is huge compared to last year it was big last year and it was busy and man this one just blew it away yeah so many more people here so many more vendors so many more speakers so many more youtubers it's just bigger and better you can only imagine next year how big this thing will keep getting from year to year how much fun it'll get how much of a draw it'll bring people in from all over the place you know i didn't know you guys last year and then as soon as we yeah. people started putting out videos then we we found out about you and we became online friends and been waiting a whole year just to meet you guys for real yeah. okay guys sorry about the wind but we are here with Jake from White House on the Hill if you haven't checked out their channel I'm gonna put a link in the description box below you got to check them out so Jake is actually here uh, in a more official capacity than last year and so I'm gonna ask Jake a few questions okay so first who are you most excited about seeing this year uh, I, and my gardener was probably the one I, I met Joel last year for the first time so I, I He's old. He's old news now. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about old man Joel? Uh, so M.I. Gardner was the first for me. And so learning so much from him, seeing he's been a longtime YouTuber. He's the, the, the good get for me was to, to meet Luke. Yeah, that's awesome. He's a great guy. Yeah. Who has been your most favorite to interview? Like who gives the best interview so far? Uh, Joel was a piece of cake. Uh, man, I everybody else wanted to know all the questions. Uh, had me guide him through it. And I said... Uh, tell us who you are, Joel, and then he, uh, 10 minutes later, I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> so uh, that guy can talk, so he's a piece of cake, and he is, uh, he he's, gives a perfect interview. So. That's awesome. Yeah, he's kind of amazing. Been, uh, the most gratifying thing over my lifetime has been to watch this, whatever, these gullies and rock pile actually blossom, you know, and soil build and earthworms proliferate. And, and, uh, and just uh, go from from a, a feeling of, of weeds and gullies and bare soil and scarcity, uh, scarcity to be able to go out and know that my, my caress has brought abundance. That is an amazing, you know, uh, spiritually, emotionally satiated feeling. But uh... Uh, can I say on Eustace, I was delightfully surprised because I didn't know a whole lot about him. And while he was a very soft-spoken person, very uh, reserved, Everything about he actually like thought about the lighting where we got so he, he I'm sure being on film as much as he has yeah. he probably hears a lot about that and so he kind of picked out the spot and then he started talking and I was like this was like so calm and peaceful man I hope I'm able to convey when I show people the interview that convey the you know the peacefulness like the romance of of just how everything went through that interview it's really cool. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Get so. A little closer too. Oh, okay, so you homestead, obviously. Yeah. Hi, welcome to our home. Funnest thing, we recently hatched out two pea chicks. Honestly, we started just as a fun little project, and we didn't think anybody would care about it, and it was so fun to... We picked up a huge amount of viewers from India that, oh, wow. are, that were just interested in seeing things about peacocks and that was so fun and um, I, I think hatching projects are probably the the most exciting because it's like Christmas where you don't know what's gonna happen it might be a total failure it might be awesome you don't know what's gonna come out so it's like a mystery every time it happens it's the anticipation that builds up for it and so that's probably the thing I'm most excited about we we've got a, a ton of birds <laughs> We have some that are really friendly and some that run away from us and some that are really beautiful and so we have like these relationships that develop with our laying flock and and, uh, and we've gotten into turkeys and ducks and ducks are crazy but it's so much fun to fill up their pool and uh, when see them get in there and just start splashing around like crazy and it's all all the water's out of it in like 10 minutes it's fun to have our kids um, you know be able to go in there pick up their favorite bird or help with chores our, our oldest is five Eli and, 
and he started helping with chores. And in the last couple of weeks, he started uh, just going out in the morning and doing. We never asked him to do chores. He barely helped us in the past, but I think he was missing it because he's now going to kindergarten. Oh yeah. And so he's been missing out on it. And so he's been starting to just go out and do it himself. Oh. So to see our youngest or our oldest actually just start taking responsibility yeah. on his own was really impressive. Yeah, that's cool. So it's a lot of cool things that we just have seen that we didn't try to force with that. So it's really been fun to see these kids that grew up in a totally different way than I grew up in the city right. to see how different their life is going to be yeah. growing up like this. That's really yeah. fun. That's cool. Well, it was really good to see you. And um, don't forget to check out White House on the Hill. And like I said, all that information is going to be in the description box below.